I know how difficult it can be finding maternity appropriate clothing that still makes you feel cute. I mean, in a time like pregnancy, who doesn't want to feel cute? And hey, wouldn't it be nice if it actually still fit postpartum too? I know it seems like a lot to ask out of clothing, but it is possible to have clothes that fit you beyond just the nine months that you're pregnant. One thing that I found to be particularly annoying in maternity clothing is finding comfy shorts that didn't make me feel like I was just potatoing out all day long. I'm gonna start with shorts and give you a quick little review of some of the shorts that I found that fit perfectly during pregnancy and beyond, and then also share what I did for tops and just some fun stretchy tops that I think you'll also enjoy that'll work during any period of time and fluctuate with you naturally as those weight changes occur. Everything that I mentioned today will be in the description box below if you wanna shop as well. Everything's from American Eagle and something that I purchased with my own money. Yes, as a 31 year old woman, I am still shopping at American Eagle. Leave me alone. Nothing like making up for lost times when you're an emo kid with no money. First, let's talk about what you should look for in jeans and shorts that are gonna fit you during pregnancy and postpartum. My high-waisted loving millennial moms, you're gonna hate me for this one, but low-waisted is where it's at when it comes to pregnancy. And here's why. Obviously, when you have a big old belly growing and you are fluctuating in weight, having the little button hit you at the middle of your waist is not gonna be a good thing because that's gonna be the part that grows the quickest. So having it hit a little bit below the belly is perfect. You can have your high-waisted jeans after <laughs> postpartum, but just not right now. But don't stop there. You wanna get the jeans that had this little stretchy number on the backside. So they look like normal jeans on the front and on the back, they have this little stretchy feature, whatever you call it, an elastic. And this is the part that makes these shorts so functional because they're never going to dig in like normal shorts. They're going to stretch with you. And again, they're gonna hit below your belly. So whenever your belly starts to grow, it's going to flex and kind of, you know, it can, it can move below the belly instead of being awkward and trying to fit above the belly and having to do a whole number to try to get those to, to work right for you. And just stating the obvious for a second, yes, you're gonna have to wear shirts that are longer when you have the lower waisted jeans, especially when you're pregnant, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make to not have to do the full panel shorts <laughs> to each their own, but that's just my personal preference. All right, now let's specifically do a review on some of the shorts that I picked up at American Eagle because I got a nice little haul in preparation for my next pregnancy. I am not currently pregnant right now, but I am nine months postpartum with my first. Not to get to TMI, but we're definitely planning to have our next one as soon as possible after that like 12 month mark. I'm working a little bit ahead, but I also like to be comfy in this postpartum period where my weight is kind of still fluctuating. It makes me feel a little bit better about my body. It gives me better body image when I don't have to see this number fluctuating all the time of like what shorts I fit in. All right, so what I found from American Eagle after doing some digging, I think you're really going to love. The first one is the dreamy drape shorts, which ended up being my personal favorite. I'll show some B-roll of how these jeans look um, so you can get a better idea, but they look very similar to your normal shorts, except for this very minimalistic elastic band in the back. These ones are called the Dreamy Drape Stretch Denim Easy Shorty, which both of these you'll notice do not have the word maternity or pregnancy or anything like that in them, which is fun when you're trying to shop for maternity friendly stuff because I would have never found these if I didn't find them on some random Instagram post. Um, so yay for Instagram for that. These are kind of short shorts. They're not crazy short, but I would say they probably have a one inch inseam. You can un flap the little fold at the bottom if you want them to be closer to like a three inch inseam. But I personally don't mind a little bit of short shorts. Um, they're not too crazy like booty shorts because of how loose they are fitting. Uh, they don't like ride up and make you 
have a wedgie. The original price is $49, but I got these on a really crazy good sale for about $18. I encourage you to shop their sales because they have really good ones most of the time. Literally cheaper than I got some of my Walmart shorts that were very similar elastic band, but less quality than these. Those were like 25 bucks. So this color is deep indigo and it is a low rise cut. It comes in five different colors, which I really love because you can kind of have your own little capsule wardrobe during pregnancy. They have light bright indigo, deep indigo, like you see here, dark indigo, black and white. Now let's talk sizing for these shorts because you would think initially planning for maternity and postpartum that you might size up. No, 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 <laughs> not with these. My typical size is size four. That's my pre-pregnancy size and currently my postpartum size um, nine months after pregnancy. So four is my absolute, basically my standard size. These are size two and they fit big. <laughs> like they fit a little bit baggy. I wouldn't say big to the point where they're falling off of me, where I need to exchange them but they do have a little bit of wiggle room in the band. So I'm glad that I heeded the warnings in the reviews of these shorts because 90% of people said that they were way too big and to size down and I'm glad I listened. So I would say it's not just a me thing. I think it's a everyone that bought these shorts uh, agrees as a whole that you need to size down. So I would do a full size down if you really want them to fit snug two sizes down potentially would even work. Um, I, I guess it's just because of that elastic band. It just makes them so much bigger than, than you would expect. I also got these in the, I believe these are the deep dark indigo. I'll show you right here. So really cute pair of shorts. And I think they are perfect. The only thing that I notice is like the, the little back um, fold can sometimes flop down because they are not really as thick as your typical jeans. I guess that's part of what makes them really stretchy and, and good for pregnancy. But I might potentially take this back butt part and sew a little, little, um, little seam in there to hold up the back part just so it doesn't come down because that is like my biggest pet peeve and I hate ironing the back. Anyway, overall, these are my favorite of the maternity shorts. So if you get one thing out of this, I would recommend these. Just size down at least one size and I think you'll absolutely love them. Next one is the Daydream Denim. So these are actually the ones that I'm wearing currently and I'll show some better B-roll. Excuse my pale body. But these are the Daydream Denim. These have a little bit of that fun ripped detailing. So if you're not a fan of that, <laughs> I would get the first ones. These are cute though, because I like to have a little variety in my jeans for summer to add a little bit of flair. So these are fun. As you can see, they also have an elastic band, just like the last ones, normal in the front, like typical jeans. And they come in several different colors, including white, black, light blue, and dark blue. Honestly, I love the variety because I was about to buy two shorts from Abercrombie, which I typically do love for a lot of different things, but it was just light indigo and dark indigo. No options, and they were double the price. So the sizes for these are extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, instead of the actual numbers. So they size a little bit differently, but ironically, I found the exact same issue in the reviews that they run at least a size too big. So I would agree with that. Again, I am normally a size small and I got an extra small for these and they still have a decent amount of wiggle room to where I can like, you know, hold them out. And, you know, they give me plenty of extra room. So personally, I wouldn't go two sizes down. I would just go one size down for these, but just keep in mind that they are gonna fit a little bit looser for most people. I personally find that to be a really good thing because I hate, hate, hate when clothes pinch me. I don't like when jeans or leggings are very high compression. It's very uncomfortable for me. And oftentimes, I don't know if anyone else experiences this, but I get so nauseous 
when I have clothing that fits me tightly. So that's a huge pet peeve. So all of that to say one size down fits perfect. And I think you're gonna love these ones as well, especially if you like that little edgy ripped style. These were $49, but I got them for 26 on their sale. Again, always shop the American Eagle sales. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna shift gears into maternity friendly tops. Obviously there's a lot of different things out there that can work for maternity tops. And if you're going for the low rise shorts, you're gonna at least wanna have some maternity shirts in your repertoire that are built for maternity because that means that they're longer and they can fit around your belly easier, especially for the third trimester. But for the days where you have your high-waisted leggings, I really, really fell in love with, let's, see oh my gosh my uh ocd people are gonna <laughs> hate me right here i really love these soft and sexy cropped tees for the days where i wear high-waisted leggings they're really perfect and they kind of make me feel like i'm dressing like my typical self and not just for maternity alone and, and completely unraveling my style because i have to fit in all my maternity clothes now. It, it helps me feel like my old self. So these are really cute and I absolutely love how drapey they are. They are cropped, which I feel works better for my petite body. I am 5'3", but I just, when I think of cozy clothes, I just think of these soft and sexy t-shirts from American Eagle. They're just so classic. They come in way more colors like blue, light pink, white. So I personally got this like kind of reddish orangey fall type color. They're oatmeal color, so kind of like a heathered oatmeal. Doesn't show up as well on camera, but it's a beautiful color. And then I also have a olive color, which I don't have here because uh, Leo spit up all over that. So that's fun. And finally, the thing that I think is gonna pair well with some of these tops, um, if you want a little more coverage or if you have like a lot of tank tops that you wanna use that are stretchy and work for pregnancy, but you wanna like cover up, you know, your arms or anything for any reason. I fell in love with the Airy Pool to Party cover up t-shirt. So I am wearing it currently right now. It's a nice little button up. And normally I'm not huge on button ups guys. Like I am very particular as a petite person who also, you know, I have a little bit of a chest. So I feel like sometimes the, the, the button ups kind of look a little funky on me. These just fit so effortlessly and perfectly. They are like an oversized fit. They have you can see this like gauzy texture. So they're kind of stretchy um, to where, you know, they, they feel really comfy and they don't hug on any particular parts. They're more of kind of like a, they, they fit. And I think they're designed to be worn more of like a cardigan than anything else, which of course, you know, as a millennial who hates to dress up, I feel like cardigans and these oversized button ups are where it's at for me when it comes to elevating my look a little bit without actually like being super over the top professional looking because I've I've never had I've always had a work from home job so I've just never had like an office ready look in my repertoire. I got two of these in olive fun which I am wearing currently and also in dark maple which is a dark brown beautiful color as well. I <laughs> love the earthy colors as you can probably tell from this haul so that is where it's at for me but they come in a lot of different colors too if you are any of the seasons some fun summer colors as well. I think it's the perfect cover up that's fashionable but still really cozy. That's my my theme for <laughs> clothing and for life. One thing I will say for these is definitely size down. So I'm normally a size small. This is an extra small and it still has a ton of like bagginess and wiggle room to it. It's I would say it's still an oversized fit going one size down. So these are really more so meant to be kind of baggy, but I am, <laughs> I guess I'm not Gen Z enough. I am, I'm millennial, not Gen Z. So I, I don't go too far on the baggy train. 
I can do a little bit of oversized stuff, but there is a limit, <laughs> I think. These are 54 a full price. I got them on sale for 25, gotta get those sales. <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful for a look into some of the things that I love to wear maternity and postpartum to still feel cute, but kind of bridge the gap between normal clothes and pregnancy related clothes because I personally like to still feel like myself when I am going through all these body changes. I know a lot of insecurities can come up during pregnancy when our bodies are changing. And so I wanted to pass on some of my personal tips that I found to work well for me to you so you can also feel your best during this beautiful change and, and transition into creating life. <laughs> you still deserve to feel super confident in yourself during all these changes. So I hope some of these tips help. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. I am a registered dietitian and certified personal trainer. So on this channel, I have everything from review videos for women's health in particular, and also fitness videos, nutrition videos, body image, and having a healthy relationship with food videos. So if that sounds like you, then consider continuing to hang out with me on this channel and joining our little community. Thanks so much for watching and if you're interested in continuing to hang out with me then check out this video right here at the top.